हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन पेपर वी विल सी इन दिस लेक्चर हाउ यू कैन फाइंड दी एल पी पी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड फोर्टी एट इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच इज रिलेटेड टू फाइंडिंग दी मैक्सिमम एंड द मिनिमम और द सेडल पॉइंट्स आर देर विच इज ऑफ दी वन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज रिलेटेड टू दी बेसिक फिजिबल सोल्यूशन विच इज अगेन ऑफ दी वन मार्क्स एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट इज ऑफ द टू मार्क्स रिलेटेड टू दिस असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम how you can solve these three questions in a very simple manner with the help of the quick not for solving the complete part so let's start with the question number 9 what is that you have to find this the origin is given to you that means 0 0 is given to you you have to find the maximum or minimum how you can do that that's a very simple whenever there is a question related to the maxima or minima you try to complete this matrix how many variables are there there are two variables so it will be my 2 cross 2 the first value is my fxx then fxy if it is a 3 cross 3 then it's a fxz then it's a fyy yx fyy fyz third one is and so on and if i call this as of the d then find its principal minors so since it's a 2 cross 2 so there are the two principal minors the d1 means the first diagonal entries fxx d2 means the second first two diagonal entries determinant of these two diagonal entries now we will try to find these values and the rule is when you said it's a maximum is when your first principal minor is less than 0 second is greater than 0 it's a maximum minimum is when your first value is greater than second is greater than and all the other cases it's a saddle point all the other cases are there now you can see all these three options are there now i can tell you the simple trick behind that so let's compute its fxx you can see at the origin so what is the fxx of this that is the second derivative of this that is nothing but my 5 this is the first derivative and what's the second derivative is my 20 uh, sorry 6x5 and it's my 30x raised to power 4 what is the second derivative of this is my minus of 4y what is the sixth is derivative is my 4 12x square of y and so on now you can see this is the value of my here what is the value at the origin this is a zero but you can see the first value is either or either positive or the greater than but here what is the value of this obtained at origin zero what is the meaning of that it's a saddle point there is no need to solve any other points are so that's the saddle point is there that's the right answer Uh, you can see the second example are there again we will see in, with the help of the trick so whenever there is a lpp question and it is related to the basic feasible solution what you can do is you have to firstly find how many variables are there and how many constraints are there so you can see in this question how many variables is of the equality type so this is of the four how many constraints are two i called this as a n this as a m then you can find the non basic variables that is n minus m that is of the two what is the meaning of that two is you have the four variables x3 and x4 out of them two must be zero it means two must be zero now what is given to you it is given to you as a one this is as a b this is a c zero and c so x1 is a non zero one value is given as a zero it means for the basic feasible solution either b will be zero or c will be zero that's the only possible for about them uh, uh, two must be zero so what will happen if b is a zero so if you substitute all the values here x uh, x2 is a zero x3 is my zero so x1 is my one so what is that 3 minus c is equal to a if you substitute here x2 is zero x3 is zero so it's my one minus 2c is equal to 3 so can you find the value of the c from here c is nothing but my 1 minus of 1 but you can see x4 uh, this is the real constants are there so the x c is my minus of 1 you can substitute here if c is my minus 1 a is my 4 but you can see this is my x4 is always with a greater than 0 but c is a negative it means this case is not possible you can think about that now if c is 0 it means x4 and x3 are zero so what is the value of the b you need to target the value of b you can substitute here this is my 3 plus b 
is equal to a and if you substitute here 1 plus b is equal to 3 so b is nothing but my 2 and if you substitute here a is nothing but my 5 so this case is rule out what is the value of the a plus b plus c the right answer is my 2 plus 5 plus 0 is there look at the question number 48 which is related to the transportation problem there is a one requirement given to you that job j4 will be assigned to the person this so it means this is the assignment is already given to you it means you have to assign the others three what is the meaning of that it means no assignment is possible in this case and no assignment is possible in this case so what is the reduced matrix is there 5 8 6 6 7 6 6 9 8 so how you can assign these values are there so remember that the most of the students will do a major mistake what the students will do student will assign the minimum value for here and then think about that there is no other assignments and then assign the minimum elements here and then minimum uh, elements here and if you do like this way then what will be the optimal answer 6 plus here and plus of 8 of the previous so you can see it's a 17 plus 11 is a 28 but this option is wrong why we will see that so what you can do is since your options are here uh, your reduce problem is this so you have to quickly convert into the row reduce matrix subtract the smallest element from the first row that's a 5 so you can subtract them similarly from the second it's a 0 it's a 1 it's a 0 say so subtract 6 quickly and here similarly from the column wise it's a 0 so what is that this is a 0 0 0 it's a 2 it's a 1 it's it's a 0 here and it's a 1 0 2 now you can make the assignments in the first row this value these are the cancel out there are the two are here now quickly apply the hungarian method so, so there is you can cover them here what you can do is you can subtract one from the each side and add one at their intersection points so you can see now you can assign the values are there so there are the two pairs leave them there is a one pair there is a one pair now these are the right answer that is this value this value and this value so what is the right answer of this 6 plus 7 plus 6 and the plus 8 so you can see is a 13 plus 14 it's my 27 is the right answer but you can see if you solve the problem like this way what is your optimal answer this is the 28 so never do like this way you can't assign the smallest element are here so this is the smallest element for this is an optimal answer for this assignment problem if you want to find some more problems related to the uh, maxima minima this is the related to the saddle point maxima minima you can see all those 21 question which is available here which can help you to perform your gate examination in this coming year till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos we will see in our next class how you can solve this gate 2020 questions linear algebra best of luck students happy learning